Hello and welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to be sharing uh, some clips with you all, video clips that uh, talks about what is happening in Africa, on the continent. A lot of African leaders are getting to the point, or they have gotten to the point where they're saying, America, forget you. We have other options now, right? And so uh, the Kenyan president makes an announcement and it literally shakes the global economy. Uh, they too are saying goodbye to the U.S. dollar. Now, one point that uh, he's going to make in his speech, in which a lot of applause rang out after that, one point he made, he says, if I am trading with a, a country that's right next door to me, right here on the continent of Africa, why do we need to include the U.S. dollar in our transaction? We don't have to do that. He said, that does not make sense. It doesn't make sense that our dealings with one another as African nations and as African countries have to have somebody else in the middle of it. He says if we trade locally, we're going to use local currency, period. End of story. And so a lot of this stuff has gotten um, America and the West upset. I'm going to share with you some of the things that they are, you know, saying, of course, you know, it's the same old bully tactics that we have seen for centuries. But um, anyway, before getting into that, I'm going to share the video clip with you. And of course, you know, I will be right back. from Djibouti selling to Kenya or traders from Kenya selling to Djibouti have to look for US dollars. How is US dollars part of the trade between Djibouti and Kenya? Why? <laughs> and we are saying that today Afri Exim Bank have given us a mechanism where traders in our continent can trade in their goods and services and the Africa Exim Bank will settle payments in local currency. <laughs> that is why Kenya champions the Pan-African Payment and Settlement System that is done by our own institution, the Afri-Exim Bank. Why, members, why is it necessary for us to buy things from Djibouti and pay in dollars? Why? There's no reason. And we are not against the US dollar. We just want to trade much more freely. Let us pay in US dollars what we are buying from the US. But what we are buying from Djibouti, let's use local currency. Africa is a hub for natural resources. Mm -hmm. It has always been for the West. Mm -hmm. And now Africa has multiple options. Africa doesn't have to succumb to a bad deal that we get from the Western countries. Mm -hmm. Africa has choice now. Mm -hmm. Africa now wants to be treated as equals at the table. And now Russia and China offer that to Africa. A few months ago, we had a democracy summit in Zambia um, where the, it was basically a West End and a U.S.-led conference to draw back cooperation with both China and Russia for the African continent. They want to always dictate to us who our friends should be, who Africa should cooperate with, and they are willing to topple governments, to assassinate our leaders for this. Mm -hmm. So the war is actually showing them that, and we're glad that Russia is standing up because security around the world now is at, of utmost important mm -hmm. for... Yeah, so apologies for, for interrupting you. No. Now, we see that some many Western states are trying to discourage um, the cooperation of many African countries with China and Russia. What do you think they fear by this? And are there attempts to discourage this cooperation working? We're moving to a multipolar world, and it's very clear that Africa now has many yeah. options. Cooperation with um, the West is not our only option. 
BRICS is opening doors for the African continent to say that even when it comes to financing, when it comes to infrastructure development, when it comes to a future for Africa, we've got different options today. So this doesn't sit well with the West. G7 sits at the table to talk down on the rest of us in the West. But with BRICS, we're seeing a different um, order. We're seeing a global community wanting to come together and talk as equals. Mm -hmm. So this is not sitting well with the West. It's not sitting well with the hegemony that they've, they're used to. Okay, so take a listen at this. I'm gonna be sharing with you um, a video. Um, I'm gonna show the screenshot. You can go check the video out yourself. Uh, they gave some great commentary on this very subject and I wanted to share my thoughts on it first because we have seen um, America literally be a bully. They have used, not just America, let me just correct that, the West in general, European nations, white nations, they have used bully tactics for as long as we can remember. Bully tactics of controlling dark indigenous populations, they've tried to do that with others as well. Uh, but others don't quite deal with it the way the African nations have dealt with it, right? But they use bully tactics and scare tactics to try to control black populations. And so these African leaders are getting fed up because they know that they have been wronged, but they were kind of powerless to do anything. But now it seems like biblical prophecy is coming to pass. When you look at the book of Obadiah, it talks about how these nations that were once confederate with these European nations, of course, it doesn't say European nations in the Bible, but those in the know know who the European nations are. But it talks about those who were once Confederate are going to turn on them, right? And so that is what we see happening now. A lot of those who were Confederate with the West are turning from the West and turning to Africa. Now, I know some of them have their issues as well, but Africa is looking at it like this. Um, Russia and China are giving them much greater options. The Bri BRICS nations, BRICS plus nations, because it's no longer just BRICS, because other countries are joining in as well, but they have greater options right now. Uh, like the one sister said, she said that um, uh, Africa has all of the resources and America and the West have tried to control those resources for so long and now that they have other options, others are stepping up to the plate saying, look, we will invest in Africa, we will do this for you, we will do that for you, and we will also get the strong arm of the West off of you. Now that that is taking place, America wants to kind of throw it in their ear like they think they're dealing with a bunch of dummies. Um, well, you want to be careful dealing with China. You want to be careful dealing with Russia because uh, they might do this and they might do that. Now, that sounds so hypocritical coming from a country where they would literally send in their dogs to topple governments, to destabilize governments, to delete leaders. I mean, they were actually deleting leaders this system and they got the nerve to try to police what Africa does now when it decides you know what I, we're done with the dollar uh, we're gonna start trading in local currency we're gonna start dealing with Russia we're gonna start dealing with China we're gonna start dealing with some of these uh, even India they're dealing with India too we're gonna start dealing with some of these other nations because we're tired of your hypocrisy your lies we're tired of your thievery we're tired of all of it and then they still want to come in and try to treat Africa like they're stupid as if they don't know what to do as a matter of fact that's why I wanted you to listen to some of the commentary I was really quite surprised that this channel that I'm going to share with you I was really quite surprised because they themselves are white I was really surprised to hear some of the language that they <laughs> put in their video that they're actually admitting that the West has been um, bullies. They've been treacherous. They have been murderous. They've been all kinds of things. They are admitting it in their video. And so I was quite surprised to see that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, share uh, the screenshot with you of the video. 
um, I've shared their stuff before so you can go and take a look at this particular video uh, where they've said some of the things that I've said in this video I wanted to put my spin on it of course but you can go and look at it as on the redacted channel um, and the, the, the title of the video is called Africa Stunner ditching the US dollar for trade uh, Kenyan president's announcement shakes global economy um, so when you get a chance go look at their commentary on that like I said I was very surprised um, of the language that they used that basically saying that America and the West hasn't been right now one thing that that I did take note of because I pay attention to everything y'all um, <laughs> there there the name of let me see if I can let me pull it up real quick there was something that they said they couldn't get the name of or the correct pronounce pronunciation um, and they said they need to change that name because they can't announce pronounce it right and I said to myself you know they don't have to change the name of something because you can't pronounce it they said it's hard on the tongue it's hard to pronounce right and I said you know what I mean that's exactly how Western minds think that people have to make adjustments for them now again I enjoyed their commentary but they still made it seem as though because they can't pronounce this particular name of um, an African endeavor uh, they need to change that name I thought that was interesting. I just wanted to point that out. Um, anyway, y'all, I don't know if y'all can hear that rain pouring down. I'm grateful for that. But um, I'm going to go ahead and let you go on this one. Um, chop it up in the comment section. Don't forget to go and check that video out. As always, keep it tight and keep it right. But until next time, I'm out. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Share it like this video. And with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.